Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Solar Impulse 2 continues the journey, Bell Helicopter shifts production facilities, the battle for Santa Monica Airport continues. I'm Brie Cross, it's May 23rd, 2016, and this is Airborne Unlimited. The Solar Impulse 2 crew alerted ANN early Saturday morning that its next step in their trek around the world was about to depart from Tulsa, Oklahoma, and head for Dayton, Ohio. They departed Tulsa at 4.22 a.m. local time, and after a successful flight, landed at Dayton International Airport 16 and a half hours later. SI2 spent a week at the Tulsa International Airport until a clear weather window allowed them to continue their flights across the United States. The selection of Dayton, which was the home of Orville and Wilbur Wright, seems most apropos. This is the 12th leg of their flight around the world to demonstrate how modern, clean technology can achieve the impossible. The mostly carbon fiber structure is powered by more than 17,000 solar cells that charge the aircraft batteries. This epic adventure started in Abu Dhabi in March of 2015. While New York is known to be a target landing site for this unique aircraft, it is yet unknown if they will fly to another interim site prior to heading out for New York and preparing for a challenging transatlantic flight. Bell Helicopter has announced plans to relocate several programs in order to optimize manufacturing capabilities across multiple Bell Helicopter facilities. The Bell 505 Jet Ranger X final assembly in Lafayette, Louisiana, will relocate to the company's Mirabel Assembly and Delivery Center in Canada. In addition, the Lafayette facility will receive the Bell 525 Relentless Cabin subassembly, relocating from Amarillo, Texas, as well as the Fire Scout Unmanned Aerial Vehicle Modification Work, which is relocating from the Bell Helicopter facility in Ozark, Alabama. Alabama. Bell Helicopter CEO Mitch Snyder said in part, quote, the relocation of these programs will enable the company to optimize its manufacturing footprint across multiple sites while maximizing the core capabilities of each facility. It's reported that the Bell 505 Jet Ranger X continues to make progress and is achieving testing milestones and certification of the Bell 525 is anticipated in 2017. After the break, legal wrangling continues at Santa Monica Airport. Concord's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concord's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concord, the heart of your aircraft. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Welcome back. If you would like to be a supporter of Airborne Unlimited, send an email to jim at aero-news.net. The legal battles over whether Santa Monica Airport lives or dies continues as the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals has determined that a lower district court prematurely dismissed a lawsuit that was brought by the City of Santa Monica to resolve the issue of whether it is obligated to continue operating Santa Monica Municipal Airport. This action reopens the question of whether or not the property on which the airport is located could revert to the federal government if it ceases to be used as an airport. Santa Monica originally filed the lawsuit in federal district court in 2013, asking the court to give the city clear title to the airport property and challenging the effectiveness and constitutionality of agreements made in the 1940s that required the city to continue to operate the airport. However, the FAA has said that more than 65 years had passed since the city reached a property agreement with the federal government, and the city has repeatedly acknowledged the government's interest in maintaining the land as an airport over the intervening years. We'll keep you posted as this battle continues to seesaw back and forth. Each week, we share with you an online video that one of our viewers found especially entertaining. We call it our Arrow Video of the Week. This week, we feature an amazing video of a radio-controlled model aircraft that provides you with a tense moment and reminds us that the Russians once had a space shuttle program that was canceled because they couldn't compete with the U.S. Man, did that ever change. Search RCAN225 and Buran Spaceship on YouTube. After these messages, the FAA wants to improve the safety culture in Alaska.
Redbird Flight Simulations is dedicated to revolutionizing flight training by designing, manufacturing, and delivering affordable and innovative flight training technologies. Each Redbird device is designed to enhance the training experience for pilots of all levels, from student to ATP. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. The FAA's Alaska Division Manager sent letters to Alaskan pilots saying the agency is concerned about increased controlled flight into terrain accidents. The FAA plans to work with the Medallion Foundation to improve the safety culture in the state. NASA is planning a comparative demonstration of a sonic boom to a quieter, more community-friendly sonic thump. The test of this quiet supersonic technology will take place on May 31st at Edwards Air Force Base, which is the birthplace of the sonic boom. The FAA has posted a large database showing the city, state, and zip code of each registered drone owner. However, the FAA is not posting the names and street addresses. The FAA claims they are responding to Freedom of Information Act requests. The House Subcommittee on Space held a meeting last week to examine Mars exploration. The hearing focused on efforts to develop deep space habitation capabilities. Committee members questioned witnesses on plans for putting humans on Mars and the challenges involved. Well, that's the trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. Rockwell Collins has unveiled three ProLine 21 upgrade packages for King Air turboprops that they claim give operators more flexibility in equipping their aircraft for next generation airspace and procedures. The three packages have been tailored to meet the needs of all ProLine 21 equipped King Air aircraft and include ADSB out, synthetic vision, an updated flight management system with LPV and APV, and radius to fixed leg capabilities, and also the latest version of the integrated flight information system. Rockwell Collins says similar Pro 21 upgrade packages are in development for different aircraft types, including Hawkers, Premiers, and more. The upgrades are FAA certified and EASA validated, and Rockwell Collins says they are available through all authorized dealers. Well, that's our program for today. Remember to get comprehensive real-time 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily Monday through Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. Please join us and a growing roster of over 100 outstanding industry associations and organizations every weekday for the best in aviation and aerospace news from the staff of the Aero News Network, the aviation world's most comprehensive news and information resource.